Hello, my friends. This is Summer Siegel, the Teachaholic, coming to you again with another little quick project. I got an order today for these wet bags. If you don't have one, you need them. If you have children, you definitely need them. Um, they have this waterproof lining inside. Um, this order is for, for one with two pockets in it, so uh, you could store dry and wet clothes in the same bag together. So, um, when I get these, depending on where you get them, check out the quality of the bag, obviously. Um, this bag in particular, I, I like to, it only has a single stitching um, that covers this open zipper, so I go ahead and stitch it, just give it a little extra stitch. Um, so that the zipper doesn't fall off really. So a little quality there, quality control for you. Okay, so this one I made for someone named Blake. That one I will set aside for you and I will start a new one. And this one, I thought I did my stitch already in there. You can see I did a little, just a little stitch. I use the upholstery thread because it's really super thick and um, it's really good um, for anything that is high durability or usage. So since we have this lining inside that's waterproof, um, I like to put in this parchment paper because otherwise, when you put your heat press on, it will melt the inside of it together. So this is double wet. And the other one is just has one side of it lining, I guess because this side's already got the wet line, the lining on it that this part doesn't on the inside. So it, I guess it just has a double purpose. So I put it in both bags, inside both. See if I can get it all the way in there and nice and get it so that it covers it. You want to make sure that it fits in there all the way because even if you get to the outside, if, if your heat press touches here, then it will fuse um, the linings together and you'll be one very, very sad crafter. Okay, so I've got that bag is ready. I do have my parchment paper to cover. I have my heat press set to 320 because we are using Glitter HTV. Now, I do like to use my center. Oh, let me press it and warm it up because you do want to have a warm surface when you're working. Okay. So again, I like to find the center. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I like to find the center of my design so that I know what I'm working with. Now, I also use this um, ruler so that I can match it up to so I'll do six inches in the middle so I'm going to make sure that it's all lined up and I want it kind of high I mean I could place it anywhere I want to on the bag but I like it when it's up a little bit higher towards the zipper. Okay, so there you have it. And if you wanna check the levelness between the top and bottom, that looks good too. Okay, and I love these little horizontal lines that it has because it's a lifesaver if you're making a craft that needs to be perfectly straight. Okay, so um, usually 15 seconds should do and since it's a long name I'm going to do it in two parts, but I'm not going to touch over here because I don't have parchment. Well, I can just pull it over. I guess I could just pull it over all the way and then do it the other side. All right, so I'm going to do and I haven't had any bad luck with I like to, you have to press really hard firm pressure with the glitter HTV so about 15 seconds should do. Enough to get the carrier sheet off because you can always press after. Okay, and then we'll move this over and get the other side. The 
and we will peel off. See how it's not all the way on? We're gonna go press it one more time when we take the carrier sheet off. Set that aside. Pull it off a little bit. We don't wanna burn the inside, that's for sure. Okay, let's give it one good press. Lots of pressure. You do not have an easy press, and you're using your home iron. Let's see, I'm gonna get that again. And you're using your um, home iron. Make sure that you're putting something soft underneath it, like um, a really flat pillow or a towel or something, because you really want that resistance on the back so that it will push back on your iron or heat press. Did I just do that with a carrier sheet? I did. Girl. Good thing I didn't have a tragic accident. I like to make sure I get the edges really good. All right. What's that? Let's go check the inside of our... And you will see that the lining is still intact on both. See? Otherwise, it would get stuck together. Take this out of both. And there you have it. Nice little fun wet bag. Beautiful little gold glitter. Very girly, girly.